Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectre Comics. Now the most viewed video on my channel had to do with scanning your comic book page or your artwork into the computer so you could use a program like Photoshop or some other graphics program to do some enhancements, some graphic effects, and do some cleanup and basically get your artwork ready for digital printing. And that video was made about 10 years ago. It was made actually to supplement an ebook that I had written about how to create your own comic book, you know, that I had written at that time. But the video quality is horrible. I was actually using Photoshop 2007 at the time. And uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and update that video and update the process and add some new tips and tricks that I would use here in 2022. I will be using Photoshop 2022 for this video. So it'll be a much more current a version of that video. Now, the funny thing is, is that a couple years ago, I went completely digital with my artwork. But if you're the type of person who likes to draw and ink on pencil and paper, but you're looking for a way to upload it into the computer so that you can do some cleanup and effects and get your drawing ready for digital printing, that's who this video is made for. So let's get started. Now, again, using Photoshop Elements 2022, um, I've taken a comic book page that I actually drew digitally, but I took all of the effects off of it. You can see here, um, I've removed all of the background effects, all the gray tones from this comic book page. And we're just gonna use this as an example. And I'll walk through the steps of uploading this digitally so that you could you know, get it ready for editing. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is open our Photoshop uh, program and we're going to import uh, our drawing. Now I've placed the drawing on my scanner and we're gonna go ahead and import that from the scanner. So if you go to import here, and uh, my printer doesn't show up here, but if I hit WIA support, it'll bring up this box. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start and it should give me the option of any device that's on my network. So here is my LaserJet printer. I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna bring up this next box here, which is giving you some input on the settings that we're gonna to use to scan the image. So we're gonna go ahead and click custom settings and click this link here. Now I'm gonna use color picture and I'm gonna up my resolution to 600 DPI because if I scan it any lower than that, uh, the quality is gonna degrade and a lot of the black lines, especially the very tight lines, are gonna mish mosh together and be hard to even see or decipher. So I'm gonna start here with 600 resolution and color picture. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit scan. Now, if you wanna do a preview, you can, so that you can actually see what's scanning, but I'm gonna skip that step and go right to the scanning. Now, because it's at 600 DPI, the scanner is gonna go really slow, and I'm gonna actually speed this up uh, so that you don't have to wait while this drawing gets scanned in. Okay, so our image has come up. We're gonna maximize the page and just take a quick look. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the image was scanned as a bitmap, and you'll notice that our background is locked. So now that we have the image here, let's zoom in and just take a quick look at the quality of the scan. Now the scan's pretty good, but one thing you're gonna notice is that all of the black lines have grayed out and there are some additional little specks on the page and we're gonna wanna go ahead and clean those up. But the first thing we wanna do is take a look at the layer that this was scanned on and you'll notice it says background and it's locked. So what we're gonna do is just double tap that and see it says layer zero, we hit okay and it unlocks the layer. Now we can actually do some editing on the layer. Another thing you'll notice is that the image was scanned as a bitmap. So we're gonna go ahead and save that as a Photoshop document. So we're just gonna save it to the desktop, change the format to PSD. Hit save. And now we're working on a Photoshop document, a PSD file. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to wanna to separate the black lines from the white background. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer by hitting the layer button, slide that layer down. Now we've got the drawing image on the top layer and the clear background below it. Now we wanna remove the white from the background. And the reason we wanna do this is because any editing we wanna do, we wanna do under our line layer. But in order to do that, we have to remove the whites. So we're gonna use the magic wand tool. We're gonna to make sure contiguous is not checked and just select anywhere in the white and you'll notice everything gets highlighted. Okay, 
Now we're going to hit delete and we're going to delete all of the white. And if you see the checkered board pattern, that means that now you have a transparent background and all of the white has been removed. Now before we deselect, we're going to select the marquee tool and we're going to select the inverse. Now we've highlighted all of the black lines. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to darken those lines. So still being on layer zero, which is our line layer, I'm going to select black paint and the pencil tool and I'm going to select a large diameter pencil and I'm going to swipe over the whole drawing. The reason I'm going to do this is to blacken all of the gray lines that got grayed out during the scanning process. So if I zoom in here, you'll notice all the lines are much darker now. Select the marquee, right click and deselect to unhighlight everything. The next thing we're going to do is create a new white layer that's on its own layer. So now we've separated the black lines from the white, but we're going to create a new white background so that looks more like the page it was originally. But now I can independently work on the layer. So the white layer is there, the black line layer is here, and you can see they are now isolated from each other. Any work that I do for editing is going to be on a layer in between that. So let's say this layer two is now in between. The next thing I want to do is do some cleanup. You'll notice that there's a lot of specs from the scanner. And you can go ahead and get on your layer zero and you'll be able to erase any specs. Any additional lines or specs can just be cleaned up by erasing. Now this is one of the reasons why I went digital. So I don't have any of these little specs and cleanup because when I work digitally, I have a clean slate and the only lines that show up on my drawing are the ones that I draw myself. So unfortunately, when you do scan, you are going to get this kind of quality with the specs in it. Now here is the additional tip I wanted to add to this uh, new video. There is another way to scan if you don't happen to have a scanner on hand. Uh, you can download the Adobe Photoshop scan app. It's called Adobe Scan. It's a free app. You can sign up for free. You can use it for free. Once you download the app, you can go ahead and sign in with your Adobe account if you have one. And if you don't have one, you can also sign in with Facebook or Google. It's very easy to use. Basically, you put your page that you want to scan down uh, on a flat surface, preferably a, a surface that contrasts uh, the the color of the paper. So you got white paper, a darker background would work best. Once the app is activated, you can hold it over your drawing that you want to scan, hit the scan button. It'll look at the image. It'll try to find the edges of the paper. It'll allow you to fine tune exactly the corners of the paper. And then you hit scan and it will save the PDF. You can go ahead and save it and you can go ahead and share it. And you can basically just email it to yourself. Once you email it, you can go ahead and do the same process we did with the scanner. Take the the PDF file, bring it into Photoshop and do the same editing that I just did to clean it up. Now, one thing is you'll actually get a really high quality image in many ways better than the scanner. The problem is if you don't have a steady hand, you may not get the page exactly square or flat. You might have it on a slight angle. So, um, but it is a very high quality way to scan your image. The phones, the cameras on the phones are very high quality, lots of um, pixels and you're gonna get a really good scan. And on top of that, it actually will read your text and, and turn your text into text. So if there's any text on your page, it'll actually try to read that and decipher it. That's just a, a quick tip if you don't have a scanner. Now getting back to this page, we went through the whole process of darkening our lines, separating our background from the white, uh, creating additional layers. And now you go ahead and you can add some effects in. So let's say I just want to color in an area. So for instance, I have the characters here are on a spaceship. This open area behind here is actually outer space. And I can go ahead and add in, you know, outer space in the background there. Um, you can just paint, but you'll notice that when I do paint the area, it is now behind the characters. So I just made that transparent so that you can see. I can erase it. I can add some gradient effects. I can add text. I can do whatever I need to do 
in order to add some uh, effects to this. But the nice thing is now I'm working on layers underneath and I'm not affecting my line work at all. So that's basically it. Now your page is ready for any effects you want to add. You can do some coloring. You can add uh, a bunch of layers with different colors and color in your, your comic book page. You can add text. I've already had text on this page, so I wouldn't be adding text here. But let's say, for instance, I wanted to add text here. And based on how the text scanned, that's probably not a bad idea. I can just type in anything I want into the word balloon here. And that text now is on its own layer. And it could be independent. Now, again, one of the things about scanning is that you do get some bleed. Even at 600 pixels per inch, I'm still getting some very grainy lines. And again, this is the reason I moved to a digital format to do my comic pages. Because it's just a much higher quality. And then it skips this whole step of having to do the cleanup and worry about the quality of the line work. But if you are still working with pencil and paper and ink, uh, this is a good way to get your work into the computer so you can digitize it and get it ready for the printer. So once you've set up your file exactly as I've shown here today, you're basically ready for anything. Go ahead and save your file as a PSD. And I do have several videos, which I'll link in the description below, showing you how to set up your layers for coloring, uh, improving your line work, um, adding some effects, adding some text, and that is basically it. So go ahead and like the video. And if you've seen the original video, the one that was 10 years old, let me know in the comment section below what you think is better. Now, if you do have any questions on anything I talked about here, go ahead and put that in the comment section and I will respond to your question. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.